You may have heard about the 1,300 complaints sent to the FCC about JLo and Shakira's Super Bowl halftime show. But did you notice the repeat Frozen 2 symbolism? If the complaints about sexually explicit dancing, gestures, and connections to human trafficking isn't bad enough, you must hear the connection I made between this show and Frozen 2, a kids' movie aimed at girls. Posted back on February 10th, here it goes. The 2020 Super Bowl halftime show just made history. For the first time, children have shared the halftime stage with pole dancing female performers. Religious viewers are calling out the show for religious and even satanic symbolism, and many are calling it an outrageous display of female sexuality serving as our savior. Some are protesting that this is a sick message for young viewers, even if they don't understand. What I first want to say is, come on people, it's the Super Bowl. I would not consider myself religious, but even I couldn't help but like most of the performance, and I am a conservative woman. This is nothing new. The Super Bowl is a great big party. For anyone who has studied the media, its influence on the masses, and how over-sexualized the media has become, this show should be no shocker. This is our new religion. Religious and ritual symbolism is everywhere in the media, and the Super Bowl is the biggest annual ritual event. Not to mention, the sports industry is notorious for sexually exploiting women, including many female athletes. The industry targets the male gaze. I have to laugh and ask, what were you expecting from two gorgeous Latinas, two of the hottest sex symbols in the music industry? And dang, did they look awesome with JLo being 50 and Shakira 43. Both women have a long and proud history of embodying the Latina diva role. It's their roots, hence the focus on Latin pride. What I see as the biggest problem is not the sexualized nature of the show, but the continual normalization of the exploitation of female and male sexuality as our source of family entertainment. Sports and female sexuality are the new deities that this religion worships. Did you notice the men in white and silver? Are they supposed to be angelic? I think not. What is bothersome, from a moral perspective, are the multiple instances of false divine symbols, and most disturbingly of all, the spin-off of the beautiful symbolism from Frozen 2, the latest movie targeting young girls. The man behind the curtain has a hidden agenda. I think the big question here is what does this symbolism mean, and why does it overlap with the highest grossing animated children's movie of all time? Disney stopped producing the Super Bowl halftime show after a year 2000 with MTV taking on the 2001 show. In 20 years, we have gone from the Walt Disney World Millennium Celebration with Phil Collins' Two Worlds to children invited on stage living it up with erotic displays and pole dancing women. In just two decades, the sexual nature of the show has risen to explicit proportions. Here comes my controversial theory. This is a ritual symbol of initiating children into the world of adult entertainment. And this is dangerous. The line between child and adult entertainment has been blurred. There was no warning about any coming explicit nature that viewers could see in the show. Maybe the pastor from Ohio is right, and the Super Bowl should be sued. Or is that too extreme? There is a definite spin-off of key scenes and narratives from Frozen 2. There are two courageous women taking on adventure, the stage. Shakira begins in a red dress, seductive and tempted by her passions. Elsa is called into the unknown by a female voice giving in to temptation, both women feeding their hunger for passion and adventure. And there's more. Elsa's ice jacket. Silver white hair. Hair is a spiritual antenna. The seven chakras. Flower of Life, also represented by the Lotus Flower. The seventh is the white chakra color, or purple. The crown chakra is associated with the universal connection with spirituality and consciousness. Elsa accomplished the activation of all seven and into the eighth and ninth divine chakras. This show is not an example of divine consciousness, and yet the symbolism is there sacred geometry, and the flower of life. 
Gold and silver are the divine chakras, eight and nine. There is talk that we are on an exponential curve. Modernization and progress of globalization, technology, medicine, and so on. So, for media entertainment, what's next, say, in 20 years? Nude pole dancing? People getting it on on stage? Activation of the chakras ends at the sacral chakra here. This show does not exceed the primal. Elsa's show yourself scene has nothing to do with her body. It is her initiation into the spirit world and the divine. If this is a comparison between the two female duos, it could be interpreted as a symbol of racial moral superiority. I believe this is the first instance of actual pole dancing during a halftime show, and it was embraced by Latina artists. The show may also serve as a subtle hint at Latina sexuality displayed as evil and white women promoted as pure. What we are seeing, for sure, is a duplicate duo in the year 2020 overlapping twin symbolism from two different lenses. The theme of Frozen 2 is literally the merging of two worlds and a bridge between the two. The fog is lifted and the dam is broken. We also see two third eyes, the 2020 lens perhaps? Maybe this is signaling a coming year of massive exposure in hidden agendas and a reveal of the roots of our deceitful written history, the forged past we've been misled to believe is no longer secret. Or is that maybe wishful thinking? The past is not what it seems. The line has been blurred. 